Hey guys, today we're going to be talking all about spot cleaning, which is a phrase you have probably heard before. Spot cleaning is the name given to small cleanouts that you do in between the big cage cleanouts to help keep the cage cleaner for longer. Just like with the big cage cleanout, there is no one right method or one set of rules to follow. Every owner has a different way of doing it, and I'm going to share with you today my method for spot cleaning. How frequently you spot clean your cage is also something that's up to you. Some people like to do it every single single day, while others like to do it only two or three times a week. I would suggest that you do it at least once a week, and if you have a smaller cage, more often than that. By the way, if you want some more tips on keeping your cage clean, I have an entire video dedicated to this topic, and I'll link that in the description box below as well as at the end of this video. Now let's head into Potassium's cage behind me so I can show you what I do when I spot clean. My very first task, which is something I do every other day, is removing and replacing the food and water. So first I take out the water bottle and I empty the old water down the sink, giving the bottle a little clean out and refilling it before putting it back in the cage. Then I dispose of any old food, wipe the bowl around with a pet safe wipe and put some new food back in. My next task is to clean out any toilet areas. Now some of my hamsters have had litter trays in the past, I don't litter train all of them, but if they do have a tray, this is when I will clean it out. For those who don't have trays, they still typically have areas of the cage that they regularly use to go to the toilet, so I clean those out simply by scooping out the dirty bedding and putting it in the bin. If you're not really sure where your hamster goes to the toilet, the best places to check are all of the corners of the cage and inside any hideaways. Potassium is also known to sometimes be a wheel peer, so if I notice any dirt on the wheel, I will take a pet safe wipe and give it a good clean. My hamsters typically have more than one nest, which they will change between, so when I know my hamster has moved from an old nest to a new nest, I'll make sure to clean out that old nest during a spot clean. A hamster's nest is usually filled with things like droppings, urine, and stored food, so it is important to clean them out once in a while. The best time to do so is when your hamster has moved out out of that nest and into a new one so you don't disturb them. One more place my hamster likes to use as a toilet is their sand bath, so if the bath has been filled up with droppings then I will empty this out, give the bath a clean with a pet safe wipe and refill it with clean sand. However, it doesn't seem that this time potassium has used it as a toilet so I'm going to leave it as it is just for a little longer. The final step I take with spot cleaning is just to tidy up the overall look of the cage. Hamsters do tend to mess things up quite a bit, so it's nice to just put things back into place, make it look all tidy, stand up anything that's been knocked down, and separate any different substrates that have started to move into each other. So that's how I spot clean my hamster's cage, and if you want to see how I do a full clean out of this cage, I will also link that video in the description box and at the end of this video, so you can check it out if you want to. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a thumbs up, you can also share it with your friends, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye!